think for a while I wanted to be an artist as a career, although I didn't know what that entailed or meant. But I also think as I got older, because that was my dad's profession, I was very much not interested in doing it anymore, and I was very like subconscious of my artwork. And like in high school, I did a lot of like hyper realistic art. I didn't really have my own style, so um, I definitely kind of fell away from it a little bit. I definitely have stuff in this thing. It's just heavy. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is this photo from soccer. I don't know why my name's on my collar. God forbid. Yeah, there's definitely random ass shit in here. Oh, good. High school? Like, not even close to me whatsoever. Like, who the fuck is that chick? Not me. This is more me than that. Harold, you're off. All right. Here's some art. For sure, this is stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, always purple. You think I'm joking. This is a constant theme in my life. This stuff's crazy. This is all like, my dad, I asked my dad to draw me skateboarding way before I could skate. And he would draw like, that trick that doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I can't do it. Some sort of front sided vert variation with a foot off. If anybody does this, Please show me, because it's gnarly. <laughs> or him drawing me doing a backside air goofy footed, but still. This was like, that's just insane that we have this. This is cool. So this is from a vacation that we went on. And the top thing is a boat that my dad drew, because we were like on the beach or whatever. And the bottom is the boats that I drew. It's so like dad's sketch, and then my sketch the same little day at the beach. It's pretty cool. These are some of my first little dudes I drew. A couple like, probably right when I moved to California. Weird little guys. I drew me and my dad on skateboards in 2000. Six years before I skateboarded. So I was trying to show you guys art, but we're just really getting a little off track and in the old safe. I think my artwork now is just pretty like organic. I think it's pretty light. There's a very like storybook aspect, I think, to some of the stuff I draw. But I think I definitely go back and forth from really light stuff to kind of darker themes kind of throughout my art. I'm probably getting most of my inspiration from like Shel Silverstein and, you know, my dad. Um, things like that, things I grew up with because they're just still subconsciously in my mind. We all, we all. Yeah. The legs feel nice. Sometimes I feel like I'll come up with an idea or I'll come up with a trick I want to do and it's like you have to do it. You're super compelled to do it. And I think that that resonates in both skateboarding and art. Yeah, you have to like put it on paper. You have to go to that spot and film it and I think and document it. And it's just, I think in that way, it's very similar. When I moved to California and I started working at Welcome, I think that was kind of like a segue into, you know, getting away from, oh, I have to only draw this way and into just being more creatively free through art because for a long time, you know, you go to high school and you take art classes and at the time I wasn't skating very much, so I wasn't, I just was pretty stagnant in what I was like inspired by. And I think that had something to do with the way I was drawing. It was like I only did portraits for people or I only did projects for school and I just didn't have my own style and I was very aware of that and so I didn't like to create anything. And it was kind of similar with skating, so when I moved to California and had that creative freedom and it, it, everything was like a blank canvas in that sense, I think that really helped me. Sometimes I would send notes to people, whether it was like my boyfriend at the time or friends and family back home, and that was kind of where I really started creating a little style. I just started drawing these little creatures. I like enjoy drawing these little things. I don't know what the fuck they are, but like I very much enjoy drawing them. Like my brother has one of the first ones I ever drew and I had sent to him. But yeah, it's so weird. 
because I think for a long time, yeah, I just, I didn't know what, what I was doing. I don't know, I wasn't inspired. Um, it's very easy to get pushed into an artistic lifestyle from skateboarding, into a musical lifestyle from skateboarding because those worlds collide so much. We're gonna let that be for a little bit. <laughs>